In this video I will show you how I create lighting like this one and also make it really sharp to make the photo look a lot better. Right, let's create something beautiful with this portrait of this cheetah. So I'm just gonna put this here. I'm re using a really big size here because I wanna use this for a canvas print. So first I'm gonna put this in the center, make sure he is in the center of this image. I don't really need this background. And first thing I wanna do here is to make areas darker. So with the curse tool I can make everything dark first. Let's really drop this. So we can have the top side light and the bottom side here darker. Press OK. Now with a normal brush, I can brush parts lighter again. So I'm going to select the black brush here to get the lighting right. Let's increase the flow and opacity here. And let's start with brushing. So I want my lighting here. Let's do everything light in the background and start making areas lighter maybe a little bit more here on the top let's do all this side also lighter because if we only have the top light we need to leave this dark and i want to have his face lighter i'm gonna use this side dark and the right and top side light so i can create some dynamic lighting here like that it looks pretty cool already Alright, next thing to do is create the new layer. Let's fill it with 50% gray. Change the blend mode to overlay. And let's make these eyes even lighter. So with the dodge tool, I can make this really light. Let's increase this. So you can see that it makes these eyes really popping out now. We can also try to change the color of the eyes, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. Let's make another layer here filled with 50% gray again. And this time I'm going to make some areas darker. I'm going to create some more shadows in this. So what I'm going to do here is some of the burn on this side. Maybe a bit here next to the eyes. Let's make this really dark here. Especially this here, these corners here some of the ear and also these areas like in between his face some behind his ear maybe here just slightly darker so we get more details in this image create some depth all right this looks pretty good he looks really sad and tired but whatever let's do some more here all right, that's too much, so you don't want to do too much. When you use shadows, you need to drop it like below 10 for the exposure. Like that. All right, let's create some nice light on this side, on the right side. So I'm going to sample something from the sky here, or whatever that is. And with Ctrl-T, I can stretch it out like that. I can make some sunlight coming in there. Just from this side. This is too orange or yellowish, so I'm gonna change the color here to white. Maybe even like that. Like we have some sun coming from that side. I can duplicate this with Ctrl J. Let's do another one, make this smaller. All right, this looks pretty cool already. Now we can try to change the eyes. But first, let's get rid of this thing here in the background, this black thing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna rasterize this layer. And with a cone stamp tool, I can just get rid of that really easily. So with a clone stamp tool, I'm gonna make it big. While holding our Alt, I select this area, the yellow area, and bring it to the right. And this side. Just a little bit like that. I don't like that black stuff. I think this looks better. And that's pretty much it. You won't see it anymore. All right, now we can change the eyes. Let's create a new layer on top of everything. 
and let's fill it with 50% gray again, change this to overlay. And let's select the brush. We can try to make these eyes blue. Maybe a little bit yellowish. Like that. Let's make a new layer again on top of it. And this I'm going to make it blue. Like that. And change blend mode to soft light. So this way we can change the eyes any color we want. We can do this really precisely. It goes a little bit like there. Where you can just get rid of it if you want to. Just going to do it like this. And also this. Right, that was pretty easy. But if you want to have it like this, you can just play with these layers. Maybe this one is better, the original one. This is just how you want your image to be. It's a personal preference. I'm going to leave it like this for now. What I'm going to do now is select all these layers. Press Ctrl E. And copy it. Let's go back. Put it above it, this. So we have a duplicated version of it. And I'm going to select the action. I will link this action in the description of the video. It only costs like $5. And you can use it for all your edits. And the only thing you have to do is import this into Photoshop and press play. All right, this is how the image looks now after I play the action. So this was before, and this is after. And here you have layers that this action created. You can try different ones. This one looks even better, it has more contrast. This is more color. This is even more, but I don't like that. And this is something else. I don't think I like this one, but it's pretty cool. Maybe you can do like drop the opacity here. But this is really what you want to do with it. So they all look pretty cool. So this is way too much for me. I like to have it my image, like a real photo. You can see here, it makes like this type of drawing thing. And I don't want it to have it like that. I'm just going to use this slightly to get more details in this image. So as you can see here, it still looks like a painting. So I'm going to drop the opacity here really low. Just a little bit of this action gives great details to this photo. And if you look at this from the distance, it doesn't look like a painting anymore. It still looks like a photo. All right, let's do some more lighting here. I'm going to create a new layer here. Let's fill this with something orange. I'm going to create some more warmth to this image. Let's put this here. Let's change this to overlay. Put this here. Make this big. So we can create some nice sunset in the background. Maybe even more. Less yellow. You can also try soft light. Also works. Let's duplicate this. Let's move it around. I can get some nice colors in this image. Maybe another duplicate and just try around different areas maybe this one was too much so this looks pretty cool now we can do gradient here what I'm gonna do now is make sure his his head his face is lighter than the rest of the image so I'm gonna create this and let's do dark brown to stay in these tones of this image. Let's copy it, put it on the right side here. Let's make this bigger. I want to ruin the image just a little bit like that. And change blend mode to soft light or overlay, whatever you like. Just a little bit more contrast than this. All right, let's do some curves to get the colors right. Let's try red. Just a bit more green to it. Let's also try green to get more blue in it. And blue. Let's leave blue. Now we can do some color balance. If you want to have more red tones, you can just change this to this one. This looks also pretty cool. Makes it more warm. But I like to have more like balance between these. I'm going to do it like this. I think this looks pretty nice. So yeah, that is pretty much it. It's really easy to make your photo look like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you do. 